So, how do you all feel they should end it? Leave it unfinished as it is? Release Mute as his remaining cliff notes? Personally, I would like to at least see if he had a rough outline of an ending so we could at least fill in the gaps ourselves. The demon child was Guts's child, but it was corrupted by Griffith's demon cum, so they are both joint cum daddies to the same son. It was then eaten by the perfect egg to make new Griffith, who is also the Moonlight Child, which means that Griffith is his own father, but also Guts is his father because it all comes from Casca's womb that they had their tomb comes mix and come brotherhood to make the demon child that is then absorbed in the incarnation to make Griffith anew. This means that Guts is already Griffith's daddy, something he wanted the whole time. You see, the story isn't incomplete. Before, Griffith couldn't have both Guts and a kingdom, but now that he is also the Moonlight Child, who Guts' cum contributed to, he is now the co-son of Guts, and Guts' cum has technically been inside him in order to make the Moonlight Child, so he can now finally exist as Griffith the Emperor by day, and then as someone who can be close to Guts by night. He can finally have a daddy. The final chapter shows this meeting. Casca's heart will also be cleared by the meeting, and Griffith will be the son and Casca the mommy. It's all so clear! The twisted dream Griffith has just before the eclipse of Casca as his wife and Guts as their son was a falsehood clouding his mind. Now it's come full circle and he is the son as he was always meant to be. Only now he doesn't have to give up on his dream. He can have his cake and eat it. Mura died exactly when he intended to. His master plan was complete the whole time and we didn't realize. The whole story was about cum, and how sometimes we think we're the daddy, when actually we're the son.